Now we're going to talk about the weather, because why wouldn't we? The Met Office has issued a yellow weather warning for ice in the East Midlands, the West Midlands and north of England and much of north and central Wales, pretty much everywhere, from 5pm this evening. It comes as a major incident, actually this is horrible, has been declared by a Cumbrian police after heavy snowfall with people urged to only travel if necessary. It is estimated that uh, 2,500 homes in the region are without power. Now, joining me is uh, meteorologist John Ketley. Um, hello, John, are you there? Yes, you are. John, thank you very much for joining I am us. Indeed, John. Um, I, I've got so many questions I want to ask you, um, not least what it's like to have a song sung about you, but evidently I have to talk to you about the weather. Um, John, so what is going on with the weather? I there mean, be time it's, for it's, all that. <laughs> it's, it's basically winter, isn't it? Well, isn't this the, the bottom line, really? We're at the beginning of December. We expect some years that we're going to see some cold and wintry weather. And I think it's very refreshing because it gets people a little bit excited more of a festive feeling about things. You go out for your tree and the snow's coming down and then you can get back home, get it all uh, decorated and you can look forward, hopefully, for some uh, more cold weather and maybe the potential for some snow as we approach Christmas Day. Of course, that hardly ever happens and I certainly couldn't predict that at the moment. But uh, for the time being, it is pretty treacherous out there. We've seen yes. some heavy snowfall, notably across the North Midlands uh, overnight. And uh, some of this snow is going to be moving further north in the next 12 to 18 hours. So there will be more snow moving up the Pennines, also into eastern Scotland uh, later on tonight and through tomorrow. So that's where there'll be more of a wintry flavour once again as we go into Monday, the start of the working week. But further south, actually, much milder winds are coming in, so it'll be a heavy rain, sadly. Everything's going to get very soggy across much of England and Wales as we go into Monday. And it won't be very pleasant at all. So it's in the north where there's a wintry flavour throughout the day on Monday. OK, and, and how unusual, I mean, it, it does seem, I mean, yesterday we were just talking in the studio here, yesterday it did seem particularly cold. How unusual is this, this cold snap, particularly up north? I mean, the northeast and the northwest have both been quite badly affected. And I think someone uh, lost their life overnight in their car, a homeless person, which is dreadfully awful. Um, but how unusual is it for this time of year to be that cold? Well, minus 12, I think, was recorded last night at Altnahara in the north of Scotland. And they would get minus 12 in most winters up in those glens, up in the far north of Scotland. That's what would happen at some point of the winter. Of course, it doesn't always happen at the same point. We get it at different times of the year. It's more common, really, uh, to get your coldest weather as we're going to January and perhaps early February. That's when things are getting colder and colder because the sea temperatures are actually keeping going down as well. So it's the, uh, the sea temperatures which dominate some of our weather in the winter months. And uh, the temperature of minus 12 last night was typical of um, the snow fields, really, of northern Britain, where it's been snowing a lot more, of course, than further south, where many places have still got to see some snow. There isn't anything around at all in the, say, the South Midlands and Southern yeah. England. Apart from just the other day, there was some snow on the moors of the West Country. But uh, most places are still in this, in this rather soggy regime. And I think one of the problems this week is that we're going to see bands of wet and windy weather moving in from the mm. Atlantic which is not where we want to be, really. That isn't festive. And the, the bad news about that is, of course, if you get more and more rain piled up on top of the next one, uh, then you're going to get risk of flooding and swollen rivers and all this. And we don't want um, people being uh, evacuated from their houses as you get towards Christmas. No, that, 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 that sounds pretty grim, to be honest with you. Uh, just one final question. Uh, White Christmas. I know it's three weeks away and I know you can't predict, but go on, at least lie about it. Go on. What's, are we going to have a white Christmas? Will we be reading snowmen? Am I going to lie with a smile on my face or am I going to take that <laughs> off? Right, OK. Uh, it looks like it's going to be, um, it looks like it's more likely to be a green Christmas because that's the law of averages. The statistics tell us that it's seven to one against a white Christmas. Uh, at the moment, the milder weather's coming in, but then there is a sign of colder weather coming in for the final week of December. So at the moment, all right, the splinter's here. I'm sitting on that fence. Just come back again in a couple of weeks. OK, well, I'll take, I'll, I'll take the cold bit. Thank you very much, John Kelly, for joining us. And I didn't ask you about the song. We've run out of time. Thank you very much. Uh, right.